where's the tunes at? Oh man, the tunes are in my head. You can't hear the music, but I can hear the music. And we got a timer. I hope it goes off. I hope it works. We're getting very high tech. So that way I know how much, uh, how much time we have. All right, check it out. Got my, uh, okay. I hope the light's okay. We decided to move into the car park today because we thought the lighting might be a little bit better. So here's what I'm going to do. This week's going to be a lot better than last week, I promise, in terms of um, um, talking about the, the program and self-management. First, we'll do some poses. Actually, there's a few some poses at the end. All right. So, um, yeah, here we go. Um, let's see if I can actually get some. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, week three. Fuck, <laughs> just get really pumped up. <laughs> This is the best, best we can pose. Okay, do some legs. Did legs today, so they're gonna be a little, I don't know. Anyway, legs. Calves for days again. Yeah, okay, so that's legs. All right, so that's me. I just had a big protein shake and a, um, and a big bowl of oatmeal too, so. So I got the belly action kicking it. Not quite the definition that we're, we're going to get to, but anyway. So today's um, day 22, end of week three, start of week four, and I'm winded from doing all those poses. Okay, but last week, last week I was talking about self-management, and I was talking about the target behaviors and, and choosing specific target behaviors, and I was also talking about reinforcers. So I'm just going to reiterate that because last week kind of got a little bit off track. So in terms of target behaviors, let me check the time, make sure we're tracking. Can't see it, that's fine. Anyway, so in terms of target behaviors, um, I'm gonna, I wanna stick to the journal or the food log because that's the, the main focus, but I'm gonna give you some other target behaviors that you can focus on. <laughs> and again, this is just a reiteration from last week. Um, one, I said, okay, you can make, make one of your target behaviors to start doing cardio, maybe three days a week instead of one day a week you can increase the duration of your cardio. So maybe your first time out, you can only run 10 minutes. So you could say a target behavior is to run for, um, say, 15 minutes. That's actually based a little bit more on endurance. But anyway, that's still a target behavior. Um, also getting to the gym more often. Um, uh, eating, like we said, eating breakfast, um, eating a certain amount of meals, maybe having smaller portions. So one target behavior might be having six meals throughout, six meals throughout the day. Um, so those are some target behaviors, right? Um, and in terms of reinforcers, um, again, last week I mentioned I did coffee and I did chocolate, but um, I also talked about basically fading those out. So ultimately what's going to happen is when you start out, you take anything, that, anything at all that's going to get you to do what it is you need to do in terms of the target behavior, whether it's chocolate or coffee. So don't worry about what it is you're using initially. Any, even if it's, I mean, this is crazy, but even if it's like something like smoking a cigarette or drinking like a Coke, right? If a Coke is what gets you going, then use that as your reinforcer. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, because what's going to happen is after two or three weeks, once you start to develop this new pattern, you're going to get to a point where you can, you can fade that reinforcer out. So, so ultimately, you want your reinforcer to come from the actual activity. You want it to be natural and in the environment. So what will happen is after three, maybe four weeks, dude, you'll get to a point where the reinforcer is the actual activity itself. So um, when you work out, you're pushing more weight. Um, when you're doing your cardio, you can run for a longer session. When you're um, in the gym, maybe people start paying you compliments or maybe your partner starts paying you compliments because they can see the changes. When you step on the scale, you weigh less or you weigh more, whatever the target is. You take your measurements, you have bigger measurements or smaller measurements. Maybe you want to decrease your waist size. Um, so that's a reinforcer when you go to put tape on there and you've lost an itch. So ultimately what will happen is the actual activity itself for whatever that behavior is, whatever that target is, will become reinforcing. And that, that's where you want to get to. So don't be too hard on yourself um, about how you, how you start out in the beginning. Like I said, coffee, chocolate, whatever, that's fine. You just want to create a new pattern. Um, yeah, so I hope, that, I hope that clears up from last week because it was a bit... Um, yeah, I thought it was a bit complicated. Plus, we, we kind of got off 
uh, tangent. Anyway, on a tangent. So that's that. The other thing I want to talk to you um, too is basically like if, if you look at um, anything, any new behavior, anything new that you want to start, any new activity, a lot of times people will use models and this is how we learn. We'll look at someone who's already doing it and we'll try and do what they do. So if you look at, say, me as a model for self-management uh, self or behavior, um, then I also want to share with you the thought processes and some of the, the things that I struggle with so that, um, dude, so, that, so that in the event that you have a similar so in the event that you have a similar situation you, you kind of know what you're in for um, I'm going okay, to try and check the time while I'm talking to you so anyway this week um, especially Friday I had like a really really hard time at work okay we're, we're doing good I um, had a really hard day at work this week's actually been really tough. So when it came to Friday, especially Saturday, you know, I was, I was feeling like I was losing motivation. I was even feeling like, you know what, um, the diet's kind of slipping. I missed some key uh, meals. Um, but the point is, like, you, you have to, you have to per just persist. You have to keep doing what you're doing. You go back to your, your food log and you look at your successes and you say, okay, well, you know what, this day I screwed up. You know, this day I made a mistake, whatever. But you look at your successes over the last few weeks and say, okay, yeah, I've done good here, I've done good here. So you focus on the things that you're doing good at. And then you try and get yourself back in a positive mindset so that, you know, tomorrow's a new day. You start over again and you, you push through it. So that's basically what I did. You know, yesterday, jumped back in the gym, went hard, didn't have the greatest workout, but still, you know, you persist. Today, the same thing. A little bit weak, but I still push through it. So the idea is um, when you look at self-management, there's going to be ups and downs. You're going to have days where... You know, stuff happens, you know what I mean? And your mind's just not completely there, but you have to keep going forward. It's okay to stumble a little bit. We're all human. It's okay to be, um, you know, you're not going to be perfect. It's, it's, yeah. Um, okay, so it, it's okay to, uh, to make mistakes is basically what I'm saying, especially from self-management. It's going to happen, but the important thing is that you stick with it, you stay on track, and you keep moving forward. Anyway, so that's the end of week three. Next week, I'm, I'm going to talk more about fading and actually how you go from taking your immediate reinforcer like your coffee or your chocolate and, and, and transition to um, a fading schedule or uh, a reinforcer that's in the environment, something that's not um, so immediate like chocolate. So we'll talk about that next week. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I know I didn't do any crazy funny stuff this week, but Wes probably did. Um, yeah, so anyway, tune in next week, and we'll, we'll talk about some more stuff. Thanks for coming, and uh, yep, tune in next week.